listen sometimes we just need a break don't you worry don't you cry i can promise it gets better in time keep your head up keep your shine hold my head up it gets better in time I'm Re, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, babe, hit the subscribe button because you're gonna wanna stay. I'm on a life journey and I really post whatever I want on this channel, but right now I'm highlighting my faith, fitness, and lifestyle, just all of those journeys all in one. So if you're on a similar journey, babe, this is the page for you. If you're returning, hey besties, it's so good to see you guys again. We're just gonna jump into this vlog. It's currently Tuesday morning and I'm sitting on my floor in my living room. Actually, it's not even the morning, it's almost one o'clock in the afternoon. And you're gonna ask, why are you home? Don't you have a job? Yes, I have a job, but I took a mental health day. I took a mental health day because I just felt like my mental was so tired and drained, literally drained. I was like, I don't think I'm gonna be the most effective teacher today. So let's take a mental health day. And I just think that we need to normalize prioritizing ourselves, our mental, our emotional, because you can't be everything for someone else if you're not that person for yourself too. So I took the day, but I still wanna be productive and I wanna challenge myself to do a weekly vlog because that has been a request from a lot of people to start doing weekly vlogs. So I don't know if I can commit to doing one every week, but maybe I can do them twice out of the month. That way it gives me time to like on the weekends, just really enjoy the weekends. But I'm gonna try and challenge myself. So this one's gonna go from Tuesday to Tuesday. Actually, this one's probably gonna go from Tuesday to Sunday. Yeah, this one will go from Tuesday to Sunday. That way I can actually start the next one, like the next weekly vlog on Monday and I can go from Monday to Sunday. So you're just getting a little day late, but that's okay. I promise we will not be, you will not be missing any quality content. You'll still get it, I promise you. But anyway, yeah, so I'm sitting here on my floor because I actually was going to put my shoes on because I'm about to go to the gym. I still wanted to be productive today, even though I called off work. I didn't want to just be lazy or a bum. I caught up on sleep, but I was up this morning at 5 a.m. I edited an entire video. The only thing I had to do is just insert some codes for a brand and then also finish with my music and that that is really it. I'm gonna send it in for brand approval when I get back. I also today need to meal prep because I didn't meal prep this past weekend completely. And then also I need to get a meal prep video up today. So yeah, I'm going to be productive. I just didn't feel like I could show up for my kids and I could fake it. And I don't ever want to get up there and like, I mean, sometimes you have to get up there and bake it till you make it. I'm not saying that, but I just knew today that it was really gonna take a mental toll on me and I would probably be snapping at my kids and it's not their fault. So I was like, you know, just let's take the day. But I got some new gym clothes. I'm wearing one right now. I'm gonna show you in a second. And then when I come back from the gym, I'll show you a couple of other pieces that I got. I love them. I love Gymshark. I wish I could be a Gymshark athlete. Is that what they're called? Gymshark athletes. I want that. So Gymshark, <laughs> sponsor me. But yeah, no, I love their workout clothes. I just think that I feel really motivated to go to the gym when I get new gym clothes. And it had been a little bit since I had gotten some gym clothes. So I'm feeling pretty good, but I wanted to put my shoes on, but I'm really sore from yesterday's workout. So I don't know how I'm gonna get up, but um, we gotta get up because we gotta get this workout in. So I'm trying to right now just like, get my life together. I'm also back on drinking two, well, one and a half to two of these a day. It's a lot of water. It's definitely a lot of water and it's hard, but we're gonna do it. Also, my skin is clearing up again. I'm getting off of my cycle and I had a couple of big breakouts this time. I don't know what was different. I think maybe just like my eating wasn't that great, but I had some really big like PMS breakouts and now they're getting, they're, the skin is smooth. Like they're no longer bumpy, but it did leave some scarring. So now we have those beauties to attend to, but that's okay. But yeah, yeah, so I don't know. I just wanted to share that with you guys because listen, it's not even just an education. It's just with anything. Take the day, take the day. Your employer will find somebody to cover your job. Like if you leave that job, they'll find somebody to replace you. God forbid you pass away. They'll still find somebody to do the job. So take the day, take the day, you know? Also, I just really like my Christmas tree too. I just like come out here to stare at it. But my tree topper is like, oh, she's doing okay right now. But she was leaning, she's a little heavy. She a little, she a little chunky, but that's okay. We love her, but I had to fix it this morning. But other than that, that's what we're getting into today. And I just want today to be a relaxing day. I still productive, but not overwhelming and relaxing a great way to recharge because I just, 
I could not deal with it. Like, I don't know. Like, is that anybody else just feeling like that? I don't know if it's like because it's the end of the year or what, but to be honest, I think it has a lot to do with it getting darker out later. Like the seasonal depression looks different this year. Like I'm not sad. I'm not sad, but I literally just like, don't want to do anything but be lazy and procrastinate and all those things and i'm like no i'm trying to pull myself out of that slump like slowly but surely because i definitely was not where i was a couple of weeks ago i'm feeling a lot better i thought there was something on my shirt but no it's just a cute logo but i think since like it started getting darker earlier i'm just like i need to find better ways to engage myself and just make sure that i'm just making the most out of my time because i don't want to be like this i don't want to be as drained but it is draining like when you come outside and it's dark like even though this is like the best time of the year because like Christmas, the holidays, the fact that it gets darker is the only con for me. I mean, that and the cold. And it hasn't started snowing yet and it's barely cold out here. Like it's literally about to be December and it's 50 degrees. Like, All right, so I'm not gonna ramble. I'm gonna show you my outfit and then we're gonna head out the door and then we'll pop back in the house. Here is the gym fit for the day. I got these cute Gymshark leggings. I will have everything linked down below in the description box because I don't know offhand what they're called like what line they come from i don't know all i know is that i threw them into my cart and i love them everything i got i think i got all of my leggings in a size large and then i got this like cute little cropped hoodie i got it in a large but i think i could have sized down because like kind of big but i actually think i like that i think i like that it's a little bit bigger it just is very like boxy you know what I mean? You can see it. I really like them. They've got really good tummy control. I feel like I'm getting back to the de-bloat stage now that like my period is finally over. Also all of those Thanksgiving helpings cause I was like tearing Thanksgiving food up, okay? Like for three days. And now we're like back to the grind. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really sore. I did a glute and hamstring workout yesterday and my butt cheeks are just like on fire. Like sitting down is such a painful task and then i just threw my hair up in a ponytail i had it in a bun but i was like eh, let's put it down let's do this um so i'm getting ready to hit back and buy today i'm very excited because upper body is something that i'm really trying to work on i don't know i don't want to say that i'm gonna film in the gym because i get really nervous about you know people and their privacy but if i'm able to find a little portion maybe i can film a, a couple clips i don't know um i know that a lot of people have been asking to see workout clips so i just gotta see if i can like i go to a new gym now so i'm trying to find out like the scheduling of when it's the busiest when it's like not that busy so when i find that i'll start putting out more gym content for you guys i also have meal prep content coming i missed putting out that content i've just had it i just haven't had time to like actually sit down and do it but yeah so all right gym fit let's go there were literally so many people in that gym like it was more packed at one than it is during like optimum gym hours, like four or five o'clock. I was there, I felt like forever. I was there for an hour and 45 minutes because I was like waiting for machines and stuff to open up. What kind of jobs y'all got that y'all just be home at the, or y'all have the luxury of like going to the gym at that time? Cause I need one of them. I need one of them. I'm about to film a an intro for the meal prep that has to go up today, but I wanna make a protein smoothie really, really quick because I'm hungry. And I'm not gonna start meal prepping for the next video until a little bit later because I wanna do my voiceover and get that stuff done. So I'm about to make a protein smoothie. Also, I am so sore. Like, I should look, I should look like Kim Kardashian. I should with how my butt is hurting right now, but it's not, it's not that yet. We gonna get there, but yeah. Um, so I'm about to make a smoothie and nothing crazy, just frozen berries and protein powder. I'm really glad that I took today off. Hold on, let me like how to like set this up a little differently. I don't know if you guys can still hear me, but I'm really glad that I took the day off because I just feel like, I don't know, this is just a good day. This was a good day to take some time off and get like caught up on YouTube stuff too because finding that balance is also kind of hard too, but I wanted to be productive still, even though I wasn't in the building. And Christmas is my I feel like this ponytail needs to come down because it's tight. That feels much better, okay. Okay, anyway, um, so I forgot to, before I left, I filled up my hydro jug and I forgot to fill up my Brita back again and there's no water in there. So is it trifling if I use water from my hydro jug? Um, I don't really know, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it because I need some water. I don't wanna use all, just almond milk. Whatever, 
I mean, I drank out of it, so it's fine. I'm getting back into the gym now, like consistently, and I'm feeling a lot better because I feel like, I know when I've been out of the gym too long, when I start to put weight on around, like in my chest and right here. This, I don't know what it is, but I, that's like, these are the first two places that I put on weight and it's like, no girl, we are not doing that. I was actually really surprised that the large leggings fit me because I'm like, there's literally no way that I'm gonna be able to fit a large, but actually I have lots of room in them too. I can even roll them down if I wanted to. So I technically could have maybe went to a medium, but I don't know. I just get really nervous, especially because I'm still not new to ordering things from Gymshark, but like I get really nervous because their stuff is really expensive and I don't want to purchase all this stuff and then none of it fits and then like, I just spent all that money for nothing because one thing about me is that I I never send things back. I should, I just take the L and either like give it away or like give it away or just be a hoarder, but really just give it away. Probably should afford the berries in first. What else can I update you guys on? Um, we're back to tracking our macros pretty carefully. Not to the point where like I'm gonna become obsessive because I know that it's like, something for a lot of people where it becomes like too much and then you just don't want to eat anything or you can't stick to it because like you're weighing out everything. My biggest thing is just making sure that the foods that I'm eating are like good, nourishing, clean foods. So like sometimes if I miss like something, I'm not like, oh, I can't eat for the rest of the day. It's just like, okay, you're eating good food. You're not eating processed foods. So like relax. Anyway, I've been really loving the combination between frozen berries and chocolate protein powder. I don't know what it is, it just, it's a great combination is what it is. I've been adding a little bit of like the special dark Hershey's dark cocoa powder in there to make it more chocolatey. I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but I do that because it helps me be able to drink it. I'm still using the Owen chocolate protein. It's plant-based, so if you guys have like a hard time with like whey protein, things like that, it's vegan, is that a thing, did I just lie? Plant-based, okay, yeah, I guess it is vegan because it says it's dairy, soy, peanut, tree, nut, wheat, and gluten-free as well, so I think that's what it means. It also has Greens Blend BCAAs. I don't really know what that means, but in case you were wondering. <laughs> I order mine from Amazon. Um, I also purchase it from GNC and Walmart. Target also has it too, but I never get it from Target. But yeah, all right. I think I need to add more water. It's like a lot of powder. I'm actually really hungry, like I really want to eat food, but I can't eat the food because I'm a, I'm gonna prep it in the next meal prep. There was like water from when I washed it, like in here, I'm like, there's water all over my floor, all over the floor. I made protein brownies the other day in another video, and I still have some, so I guess maybe I could have one of those. I think I'm going to shower really quick, or maybe I should film the intro to the meal prep first. I'm gonna shower really quick, then do my voiceover to my meal prep video, and then we'll come back once the voiceover is done. I'm gonna start meal prepping for the next meal prep, and I will we'll finish meal prepping for that, and then I will actually have some lunch, because I haven't eaten anything all day today yet, so. That's the move, that's, that's the move. So, it's later, it's 7.30, and I've been very, very productive today. Meal prep, I cooked today, so I meal prepped for this week. My meal prep that's gonna go live at the end of the week is already good to go. Everything is filmed, everything is edited, voiceover done, already queued in the YouTube blog, and then I'm just finishing up the last little bit of voiceover that I had to do for a brand deal that I was working for that you will already have seen that video, so if you haven't checked it out, it's my last, it's the vlog right before this one. And so if you guys haven't, that's where I decorated my house for Christmas and I just have to submit that vlog to the brand just for approval and then we should be good to go. So I'm feeling very great. I also have just been like lounging and relaxing. I'm watching Cal Patisi again, which is my Turkish TV drama that I've been obsessed with. Like I just keep watching it over and over and over again. Like I'm literally like seven episodes in, but it feels so late. It feels like midnight and literally it's only 7.30, literally only 7.30, but I'm feeling super productive and yeah.
I even did full skincare. I'm just feeling really great. Today was so necessary. I wish it could have been like more of a self-care day, like on camera, cause y'all didn't see everything, but like, I just felt like it was just for me. Today was just for me. I couldn't give that away, but don't worry. We'll do some more self-care vlogs. I want a snack. And I don't really have snacks in the house because I told myself that from now on, I'm gonna start snacking on fruits and veggies. I hate when healthy Rihanna goes shopping because now Rihanna that wants to eat is here. So I think I'm about to, um, <laughs> I think I'm about to cut this dragon fruit. I don't really know how you do it, but I think I'm gonna cut some dragon fruit and then have that for dinner. I just wanna finish up my voiceover and that's really it. I just have to take pictures tomorrow cause I was not putting on more makeup tonight. I just have to get, when I get ready tomorrow, I have to take pictures for a thumbnail and that'll be literally everything that'll be set. So I'm feeling really great about today. I'm feeling really good, feeling really accomplished. I feel like I'm getting back to myself slowly but surely. I didn't show you guys my Gymshark stuff, but I'm trying to think. I can't show you tomorrow because I think I have to do hair after work, so I'll take you along with that. Unless my coworker cancels. I don't think she will, but just, you know, whatever. But then the following day, we have Faith Chat. I could probably show you after Faith Chat. You know, I'm going back to work, so like, you know, the day is just like full. I mean, you'll actually probably see them because I'm probably gonna wear something tomorrow when I go to the gym at 4 a.m. Yeah, the gym at 4 a.m. is not fun. Like, let me just be real, it's not. Nobody wants to be up at 3.30 in the morning, but we gotta do what we gotta do. But we're getting our body back and I love that for us. So, all right, I don't know if I'm going to bed soon or not. So I don't know if I'm gonna jump back on camera tonight or not, but if I don't, good night and I'll see you tomorrow. I feel like I've been trying to vlog all day and it's because I have been. So um, today is Wednesday and I just made myself some tea. I don't even know why, cause it's like so hot in my classroom right now, but um, I was trying to vlog during my break, but I didn't get a prep period today because we had um, a teacher go home early and I had to keep my homeroom kids so I couldn't vlog while they were here because they were just being really loud and kind of disrespectful. Also, you probably hear the rain outside. I do apologize, but um, anyway, it's another day. It's day two of the weekly vlog and I am feeling pretty good. Today has been a pretty decent day at school. Probably one of the better days that I've had. I'm feeling accomplished. My students are struggling right now with a new concept. And so right now I'm trying to revisit the drawing board, trying to figure out how I can teach it in a way that they'll understand it. I'm trying to maybe include like sports or something. But right now we're trying to get them to use hanger diagrams to create equations. And I'm using simple things like shapes, but they don't understand how to balance them or like whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other side. They don't understand that. They're being reintroduced to like terms apparently. The retention I don't think is that great from the last, I wanna say even just from last year, the retention isn't that great so I need to figure out what I can do this year to make sure that the retention of like the content they retain it in ninth grade I need them to remember so I've got to come up with a way to teach it creatively enough that it like pertains to them so that they'll always remember it so I'm trying to figure that out right now but anyway um I'm wearing actual teacher clothes today usually I'd just be bumming it but today I'm wearing like some cute little dress pants from Fashion Nova and this top I think is from Shein I think um and I have some little flats on oh I didn't get to show you the shoes that I got from Amazon but I can show you those either later or tomorrow probably tomorrow because I'm supposed to do hair after work today but my co-worker said that she didn't get her hair yet so I don't know if that's really gonna be working also I'm looking outside because like I see some of my students that are skipping school and I hate that for them y'all already know the drill where I teach is not the safest um but anyway i made myself some tea and i'm really playing a dangerous game right now because the tea that i'm drinking is the three ballerinas chinese herbal tea and it's like a detox tea i haven't really been able to go to the bathroom like i need to so i'm gonna drink it i'm hoping that it won't kick in immediately or maybe it'll kick in immediately and i'll be able to go to the bathroom before my kids get up here but i'm playing a very dangerous game also shout out to my izzy girl for my cup she gave me this cup last year and it says merry christmas no it is not december just yet it'll be December tomorrow but you know we're just all about Christmas vibes I'm having my tea and I put a little bit of honey in there I didn't bring lunch today but I am gonna go home and stop and grab dinner before I go do my co-workers hair aside from that today has been really really good I need to read my bible at some point maybe I think in a second I will do my devotional because it's day three of my devotional and if I have time I'll update you guys on what the devotional was about but I'm really really loving it it's called a woman a well-watered woman in a parched world it's on the bible app and I will have it linked down below in the description box it is a great devotional like I really didn't see 
repeating myself within the scriptures that they were giving me but in my last vlog my little sunday vlog where i decorated for the holidays you guys can definitely check out that little breakdown of the faith chat because i was going to talk about it okay how do we feel about the hair does the hair look okay up you know i don't really like to wear my hair up but no, my student said it looks really nice. I don't know how I feel. I think I'm okay with like, if I can see it like face forward, like the bun, but I don't love to wear my hair pulled back because I just feel like I look really like a potato. But how do we feel about the bun? Is it cute? Is it cute? Is it a look? I don't know. But um, yeah, it's so rainy out today and it's a rest day from the gym, which is so nice. Wednesdays are my rest days. I was gonna make Thursdays my rest days because like that's my longest day because I have like Bible study, but I'm like, no, I think I can do the gym on Thursdays. That way I'm up and like I can, if I haven't finished the chapter yet, which I haven't finished the chapter tomorrow, we're studying chapter eight of John and I started it and I haven't finished it yet. So if I don't get a chance to finish it tonight, I'll finish it right after the gym tomorrow. And it keeps me awake so like I won't go back to sleep and won't be rushing for work so other than that that's the update for wednesday it's very like hump day s it's very hump day s also there is a sub in the next room and he looks like my ex-boyfriend <laughs> And like I walked in not expecting to see a sub because the teacher was here this morning and I walked in and I was like I was like okay um he was like hi I was like what's your name it wasn't him obviously but looks just like him and I was like that's awkward but anyway I submitted my vlog that I was working on yesterday I submitted that to a brand and hopefully they approve it so it can go up tonight ideally I want it to go up tonight so I can get one more video up in November but if not it'll go up tomorrow morning which is December 1st but we'll see I wish I was like an avid tea drinker I used to watch Wendy Williams you know when she used to be like how you doing I used to watch her show all the time and I used to love the fact that she would drink tea and she'd be playing with her little tea bag and stir her little tea and then drink it she always made it look so appealing but it's just not giving I mean also this isn't like a flavored tea it's just the herbal tea whatever and there's just a little bit of honey in it but like I wish I could be a tea girl I want to be but I'm not my hair, I had to put my hair up because it was hot. Like when it was down, I had like so many braids in my hair. It was making my back and my neck all hot. So I was like, oh no, let's put it up. And my sisters was like, oh miss, we like this hair. And I'm like, I can't really, I can't really tell how I feel, but okay. It's not my usual, but I can get used to it. I could get used to it, I don't mind it. I like how full the bun is. I think, I think that's nice that the bun is like really full. Okay, now I'm gonna go because I actually don't know what time it is and I need to see oh my God, I have nine more minutes nine more minutes before I have to get my kids so maybe I'll just like take a slow walk down there and get some steps in although I don't have my watch on I just remember that I don't have my watch but all right let's go ahead and carry on with the day and I'll talk to you guys in a bit hello good morning it is Thursday and um yesterday we did a whole lot of nothing I didn't end up doing hair and then I literally got home after work didn't have dinner didn't have anything and i laid down on my bed and i went to sleep and i slept for like five hours i woke up and it was like 9 45 10 o'clock and i was like just gonna go back to sleep but then i was like i need to finish john chapter eight because we have faith chat tonight and i'm actually really really excited like my whole mood just actually just like perked up because i'm really excited that we have faith chat tonight i basically went through most of the chapter i only had like a couple more verses that i wanted to like dissect this morning so i did that and it was just like very uneventful and then this morning i woke up i woke up late i was supposed to go to the gym this morning didn't go to the gym so I, instead i started filming another meal prep because i've just been like adding you know recipes that i've been eating i've been trying out so i'm like just putting all that together for like a little compilation video i guess so i filmed a little bit this morning i finished john chapter eight and it was so good the lord was just really like speaking to me i just oh i'm so excited for tonight's faith chat we have so much to talk about i don't even know if we're gonna get through the whole chapter because i just feel like we just the conversation is just gonna be so good so if any of you guys ever want to come to faith chat they're every thursday eastern standard time from 6 p.m to 7 30 p.m i even stick around for like the last 30 or so minutes to just chat you know because sometimes people aren't comfortable like 
sharing with a large crowd, but usually people log off, but I'll stick around for like the seven or eight or 10 people that stay on, you know, for the last 30 minutes. And we just have like, we just be kiki in it. We just be having good conversation and just talking about life and just, you know, everything. So if you guys are ever interested, the link is always down below in the description box. But anyway, so today I figured that I need to do a better job at vlogging because I feel like I really have been doing a terrible job. I didn't do anything yesterday. So um, again, I'm drinking tea. There's no honey in this tea. I'm still very much not a avid tea drinker, especially when there's no honey. I personally think that tea without honey is gross, especially if it's not flavored and this is not flavored. So it's really not for me, but I need the detox tea to kick in. And now I'm actually going to actually have my prep today, which is so nice because I didn't have my prep yesterday. But I ordered some headphones because my students are very destructive and the school gave us like these headphones like these ones, okay? These are the ones, like everybody had these growing up, right? They would rip the foam off, they would tear them, and now all of them are pretty much broken. So what I did was I went out and I purchased, like I think it's a count of 120 off of Amazon. Hold on, come on in. No, you're fine, I'm just finishing a vlog. You're welcome to come in. Say hi, Mr. Weekend. Hi. Um, we're about to plan, but anyway, I bought these uh, for my students, but I have to label them still, and I totally forgot about it, so I'm gonna be doing that during my prep period. I also need to get some lesson plans done. I'm vlogging. Oh, headphones. Cause like, I don't know about your kids, but like they destroyed these. Mine are all destroyed. So I just purchased them from Amazon. It was like 30 bucks. It was like $33 for um, 120 pairs. I got them on Cyber Monday. I think usually it's like $50, but even, even still it's good, yeah. But anyway, so I have to label these, get some lesson plans done, and then I'll actually do a better job of like picking up the camera today because I know I haven't done that. All right, I will keep you guys updated. I'll talk to you guys in a few. So we're home. I actually ended up having a planning meeting today, so I couldn't actually vlog. Like the director of like math academic achievement came into my classroom, so I couldn't vlog, but that's okay. We're finally home now. I feel like this button is always blinking. Anyway, we're finally home. It's currently, there's no watch. It's currently 427 and I have about an hour and a half before faith chat starts and I'm so excited about this faith chat because I wrote down so many good notes. I'm gonna go back and like read them and pray before we start. I also need to charge my computer because I think it's dead. Today was a cool day. I'm chilling because I'm not going into work on time tomorrow. I'm going in late. Mm -hmm because I have my Invisalign treatment. I go for like my first like, I guess round or whatever. So my trays came in and I'm supposed to be with the orthodontist tomorrow. My appointment was actually supposed to be yesterday, but they canceled and said that they needed a few more days because the company was still working on my, my specific trays. But then they called me yesterday and was like, hey, can you come in on Friday at 9 a.m.? And I was like, yes. I can. So um, I stayed a little bit after school today to leave out the assignment that my students are going to do. In my absence, I will have my last period class. So like that's cool. And I'll see my homeroom kids since we work on a condensed schedule. But I had to stay back and just make sure that everything was like together for that. I'm gonna um, go on Google Classroom later on today and I'm going to put their assignment on there just so that they have it as well. And then also email in my sub lesson plans just so that the sub is fully aware. But my kids are already like, they're fully prepped that I won't be there tomorrow. And they know exactly what they're doing. So I need to do that but it is Friday Eve, okay? We made it another week, okay? We made it another week. I had I had my hair up today, like half up, half down, and I feel like it was like a little bit too tight. So like my edges, ooh, are hurting. I'm actually really hungry and I'm going to um, heat up some salmon really quick. Like I meal prepped, but I don't want that. I want some salmon right now. So I'm gonna make some salmon really quick. And then it's really cold in my house too. So I wish I had hot coffee pods, but I don't. I feel like heating up iced coffee is gross. Like I feel like it's not the same. It's like watered down. So I guess we won't do that. But anyway, yeah, it's really cold in my house, but my Christmas tree is up and she looks so cute. So it's like, whatever. I haven't decided if I'm gonna go to the gym tonight or not yet because the last time I tried to go, some guy tried to like snatch me. And I could really like do without that tonight. But if I'm feeling so led to do so that I'm gonna go to the gym and I'll be able to show you some stuff. But if not, I'm just like trying to get like my life together right now. But I promise I'm gonna pick up this camera in a little bit. I just need to get like, situated but i wanted to pick up the vlog because today was kind of a bust okay today was really kind of a bust um because i was just really doing my job and like my kids were really 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 needy today so like i didn't have downtime while they were working independently because they just like refused to work independently it was just like miss 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 
miss, 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 miss all day long, all day long. It just never stops. Also, I got a splinter. I got a splinter today for the yardstick that I was carrying around the building. God did it to myself. And it's like a really weird spot in my hands, like right here. So that's why the band-aid is there, but all right, let me get situated and then we'll come back. I swear I'm so tired right now. I'm so tired. I fell asleep after Faith chat last night. It was a really good one, but it's um, Friday morning. I hope you can't hear the music, hold on. Sorry, not trying to get demonetized or anything. But anyway, um, I fell asleep after Faith chat last night. It's currently 5 a.m. I slept in an hour today. I was supposed to go to the gym at four, but I was like, there's no way my body's tired. But now we're about to go to the gym, but I wanted to show you the gym fit because it's another Gymshark outfit that I got. This top, I got it in a large. I like it like in a large. I could have maybe sized down, but I feel okay. Let me just turn the camera around so you can actually see, hold on. But I guess you can see this is the color of the shirt. It's brown, like chocolate. I like it a lot. This is the color of leggings up close, cute. So this is the full fit for today. I got these really cute leggings. They're in like this like orange copper color. I got them in a size large. Um, they're comfortable. I almost wish that I sized down because I feel like the um, tummy control, like I have this little pooch here. I feel like the medium would have like did a better job at like sucking it in, but it's fine. We're working on the body. It's cool, whatever. And then I just paired it with some Nike socks and my little white sneakers that I got from Amazon. But this is a fit. We're hitting shoulders, chest, and tries. Have I written up my workout yet? No, but I'll probably just use one that I've like used before in the past because I'm tired. I'm so beyond tired. It's crazy. Like, please, please send. I really honestly feel like I need pre-workout this morning, but I don't have any. So we're gonna have to add that to the list of things that I need to get done this weekend. I'm only going to the gym right now at five because I don't have to be in the building until 11 o'clock today. And I have a doctor's or I have an orthodontist appointment today at nine o'clock. So I was like, I have a little bit more time. I don't have to be in the building by eight. So I'm gonna try and get a quick 45 minute workout in and then I'm gonna come home. I don't really have food in the house, but I need to eat. I wanna eat before. Maybe I don't wanna eat before. Maybe I won't eat, I'll like grab Starbucks afterwards. Actually, that's what I'll do because one of my former students, my Izzy girl is coming to visit me today. She texted me yesterday and was like, my mom said I can come see you tomorrow if like you're gonna be at school. And I'm like, yeah, girl. So um, maybe I'll just pick us up some Starbucks on the back from my ortho appointment. But I'm really, really excited because your girl has been wanting to get her teeth done for the longest time. It's been like a huge insecurity of mine since I was a young girl. And now it's like, we're getting it done. This is gonna be the best like $6,000 spent. It better be because it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. All right, my watch is on because one thing about me is if I forget that watch, I'm coming home. And if I come back in this house and I get comfortable, I'm not leaving. So we put the watch on. I had to charge it last night because I swear my Apple watch dies faster than like anything I've ever seen before. I'm gonna attempt to vlog in the gym. Attempt, I didn't say it was gonna happen, but we are gonna attempt. I'm not really feeling it but i know that i need to go and i know that i feel better when i go because like i've gone three days this week and I'm, that's not true i did a home workout last night after faith chat i didn't go to the gym but like i know i feel better when i go to the gym or when i work out so we're trying to get back into the swing of things so all right let's go get it done so i put on a coat because i know it's cold outside yeah i'm gonna put on a coat because i'm about to be real irritated the trench coat is just on. It's just, it's just what's happening. Let's grab some lip gloss because my lips be crusty in the gym. I don't know why. Just like the moment I start working out, it's like my lips are just dry. Let's go before I change my mind.
home and it's a lot later. We gotta shower and start getting ready because my appointment's in like two hours. It's, it's so cold outside, oh my god. My apartment is also cold. Why is the apartment cold even though I turned on the heat? I also need to clean today, but I think I have hair to do after work because I was supposed to um, do hair on Wednesday. We're getting snatched. We're getting there. Anyway, I was supposed to do hair on Wednesday, but then my coworker had like other things to do and it got really late and then I fell asleep. So I'm supposed to do hair today. I'm gonna text her and see, but if not, I'm gonna come home and clean today because my house just needs it. It just needs a little bit more love. So, all right, let me get in the shower, get ready for the day. And then I'll talk to you guys when I'm probably on my way to my ortho appointment. Okay, so we are actually in the parking lot of the orthodontist. I actually have about 10 minutes to spare, actually 11, so I'm proud of myself. I wasn't really sure if I was gonna be able to like get everything done in enough time because I totally forgot to submit my lesson plans, my sub lesson plans, like print them out yesterday. So I had to quickly type them again on my home computer because I leave my work computer at school because I really don't have any need to take it home. So I had to rewrite my lesson plans, get in the shower, do all that stuff. I whiten my teeth this morning. You know, I do that like once or twice a week, but um, I use his, not his smile, high smile. It's like that the viral TikTok, like teeth whitener. It's like the little purple bottle with the purple gel and like it like, whitens your teeth it's actually working really really well for me but i'm going in today i'm really nervous about what they're going to tell me because like, i know i had to get this tooth right here i know i need to get this tooth here pulled so that this tooth this extra tooth can like come down because that's like the tooth that's supposed to be there and i just like i'm nervous about that because i've never actually had to have a tooth pulled you know it's time to put on our big girl drawers because we are 28 years old we can definitely handle this there are worse things i also don't know if it's really sitting right with my spirit that i'm gonna just have a, have like this gap in my mouth i mean you won't see it because like they're gonna put this like like filler and my Invisalign so it will look like that tooth is there but like when I take the Invisalign out I'm gonna just be like it's gonna be like Michael Strahan on the side. I don't know. Um, but anyway, I don't know. It could be a look, could be a vibe. Actually, you really, really won't see it because I have to wear my Invisalign for 22 hours out of the day. So like you, the only time the Invisalign will be out of my mouth is when I'm like gonna eat and like brush really quick and then like put it back in. But like, so I really shouldn't be, it shouldn't be that bad. And they said it shouldn't really take it that long, like the gap to close. So hopefully it won't be that bad, but I'm nervous. I'm trying to see what my options are, like to see if I do have to have it pulled because he's gonna show me today like what it's gonna look like if i decide to keep the tooth in my mouth that's what we're gonna do hopefully i can vlog in there we were talking the last time and i was like telling them how i do youtube channel and they were like oh the doctor loves the publicity so if you want to like vlog in here you can totally do that so we'll see if i can get some content in there today i'm also so hungry i didn't get a chance to eat because well like i didn't want to like eat anything before i came but like the way starbucks is calling my name she's calling to me i told isabella that i would get her something to drink too she said let me know what her order is i actually got a text her to see what time she's coming into the building because like my students are taking a test today but they really don't do well when we have visitors like they just not that they show out but i don't want to give them any more like fuel to misbehave so i need to see what time she said that she wanted to come but other than that taste really chill i don't to teach at all because like i said my kids are taking a test and then afterwards i'm really just going for professional development and realistically i should have just took the entire day off and the other math teacher at my school literally just texted and said that he's not going into the building today because he's having car issues so now they don't have any eighth grade math teachers there today well i mean until i get there but i won't get there till 11 o'clock so yeah oh i'm wearing a gymshark piece that i got it's just like this cute little zip up and it has the you know little thumb holes for your hands or whatever so freaking cute i really do have to like sit down and like actually show you guys each piece they said i'm gonna be done at like 10 o'clock here but i told the school i'm not going in until 11 just because i don't want to i mean i need like 25 minutes to get to that part of town like back to that part of town so i guess it's fine but i need to wash the pieces that like i wore today and that i wore in the beginning of this vlog that way you guys can just like see all of them together but this is a super cute jacket i got it in a size large and i love the way it feels i love the way it fits i definitely feel like it is true to size the goal though the next time i buy new gym clothes i want to at least like reach like my drop my 10 pounds like that, that's my goal so i can buy more gym clothes again once i reach my 10 pound like goal let me go ahead and oh yeah it's 8 55 i need to go all right i'll bring you guys in i'll talk to you soon we're always here for you okay i am the 24-hour emergency person so if you need something well, you're not fine well auntie <laughs> but i need time okay i did actually have a question I 
couldn't record putting them on because she couldn't be on camera. I just spit. But they're on. They look kind of crazy because I have these little like, uh, I forget what they called them. If I remember the name, I'll put it on the screen right here. We have a list, but that is okay. She said the more that you talk, the more like comfortable you'll get with them. And then you really won't be talking with a list. I mean, it's really, it's not that bad. It's just like a little bit uncomfortable, but we're about to get straight deep. Literally everybody here is so nice. It's so crazy. The orthodontist himself, he's so freaking sweet. I'm gonna put his information down below in the description box. You guys like need to come. I keep like spitting. It just like keeps like shooting out of the side of my mouth. I don't know what that is about, but they feel so strange. Like you see, they're called adapters? Attachments, they're called attachments. I keep wanting to call them adjustments. That's not what they're called. They're called attachments. Yeah, they look really, really weird, but I'm just excited to get straight teeth because it's been a long time coming. And they gave me, um, they gave me this bag of goodies, so I'll show you guys that stuff later. But I'm so hungry, like I need coffee and I need a breakfast sandwich except because I didn't even have a protein bar or protein shake after the gym this morning. Like, sis, why would you do that? Why? I'm gonna get the tooth pulled over like within like the next like four to six weeks. So they're gonna refer me to like an oral surgeon right now. And so they gave me my first, I have like this first set of trays. I'm supposed to change them every two weeks. And so they gave me these two here. I have like a total of 27 trays, which like it might be prolonged. Like it doesn't mean like just because they ordered 27 trays, it's just like my, my plan might, you know, move. My progress might be halted or it might progress quicker. Like you never know, but I'm waiting for them right now to give me a referral to an oral surgeon. That way I can like call them today and schedule it. So like probably sometime after the holiday. So as long as I get it done before I start the fourth tray because in the fourth tray they have in there like this x this little tooth here in the front of this like the tooth that's hanging they don't have it like factored in there they just like will paint will paint over like paint a little tooth in there so also they told me that i have to drink out of the straw ideally like you should take out your invisalign when you eat or when you drink like especially like sugary things you should probably take it out but they're like if you if you can't take it out like you can just like take a straw and like drink with a straw and i drink with a straw anyway so it's completely fine so but i'll probably just take them out just so that i have them and they gave me a couple of cases which is good because they're like if you take them out you'll most likely throw them away and we're spending entirely too much money on this to be throwing them away so we just need to make sure that like we're doing it right i'm very excited i was about to fix my hair i'd take my hair down so i could lay down um when she was like putting the attachments on and like it was just like the way my head was it was just like in a weird spot so i had to take it down but like now i just like threw it back up but i don't really know what it looks like so we need to fix that and my makeup held up pretty well i thought it was gonna crease i'm a little small line here and like she put those little things in my mouth and, like it like stretched my mouth open so she can like have access but you know i'm just waiting for me to get to the school and these kids start grinding me up because i'm gonna be talking just a little bit funny like i think it feels weird i don't know if you can see it let me see if i can show you like there's like this little like lift this little like fold back there so like my tongue would naturally like hit the back like that little pad down there and it like doesn't so all of my s's feel and sound weird but so we made the appointment to get this tooth pulled i am just gonna have it pulled i feel like if we're gonna do it we might as well just do it right it would look fine but like i would have a little bit of an overbite because there's like too many teeth on the top so i just scheduled my appointment and i'm so excited because usually like getting appointments out here in philly is like it's either hit or miss they either are super available or you have to wait like 12 weeks and so i was able to schedule they had so many flexible dates like they're like we can get you in next week and i was like actually can we hold off until after the holiday because one i want to finish like my my third tray, or at least start the third tray because in like a fourth tray that i have that's when they have like the little like prosthetic painted in tooth in there so yeah so i just scheduled that that's really really exciting to me also i don't even know how my mom did this growing up but like keeping track of like all of the insurance cards i just like she asked me who my like healthcare provider was and i was like oh it's this and then she said something else and i was like i literally don't even know and i don't even know where my card is so now i need to i know i have a card so i need to go home and find it i came in the mail i don't know where i put it but i need to like look for it so i can call them back and just give them that information how did my mom do that for herself and two kids like i can't even keep 
I can't even keep little stuff together like I just lose everything I don't know why or not that I lose it I just like put it in random spots and then I don't remember where I got it so I guess that is like losing it I will eventually find it but like I can't like grab it offhand oh I need to look at what's in this um bag and the only reason I need to do that is because I need to figure out like I'm about to eat sorry my phone is shaking because I have it plugged in to like the ox or whatever but um, it's like on the dashboard, so it's like kind of like tilting every time I move. But this is what, hold up. Oh my gosh, it's so freaking funny. So like, here's what the trays look like. This is like tray number four, right? And I don't know if you can see it, but they literally have a tooth. <laughs> the tooth is literally painted in, that's so funny. It's like a little denture. Okay, I'm out to eat and I need to make sure that I put my stuff they take them out. They put those little attachments on there and they just feel so weird. It feels like a little like, not like combs, but combs on your teeth. They just gave me so many goodies and I love that for me. Okay. They gave me three trays. Oh, that's so nice. They gave me this pink one. The pink one is the one I'm definitely gonna be using. But they gave me three. They were like, usually we give you two and like Invisalign gives you one of theirs. But they gave me three. They also were like, give me your uh, YouTube information. And I'm like, I can absolutely do that for you. So he subscribed to my channel. So shout out Dr. Gemi because you guys are great. Okay, hold one. Let's see what's in this. This is like cute or whatever. This is what is from Invisalign here. They also said there's like an Invisalign app that you can like go by, but to still consult your doctor or like go with your doctor's plan. Cause like your doctor obviously knows what is best because they're the ones that are seeing you. But this is the black box, be very cute. Oh, it says made to move, it's backwards. I also get this question a lot too. I am not driving on the right side of my car. I'm on the left-hand side, but I'm filming on the front camera of my phone until my face is inverted and it looks weird. So I always invert the camera. So anytime you see me in my car, I'm never driving on the right-hand side. I'm always driving on the left-hand side. So just, just to answer that question. Oh, wow. Look at that. This is the case. I like this case actually too. Oh, wow. Oh. It's like blue on the inside, but it's very cute. It's blue. Keep your aligners clean with 10% off Invisalign cleaning crystals. So they told me not to use the uh, cleaning crystals until like the very end of my treatment. They were like, you can literally just brush your like trays with toothpaste, but that's, that's really great. Okay. So all I know is that we're not using these right now. I feel like a new woman and my teeth haven't even moved yet but like the fact that i'm finally able to do it after wanting to do it after all of these years and being so insecure about my smile even though i smile all the time like i never let it stop me from smiling you just just saw all all the extra teeth and that's okay now i'm just like happy that i'm gonna be comfortable with my smile i'm not like trying to like hide it because i have an extra tooth or whatever but okay all right so now i know what all those are. Isabella just texted me and said that she wants a Frappuccino from Starbies. So I guess I will go ahead and order it when I get close. She's not coming to the school until 11.30, but I have to be at the school by 11. It's not gonna happen, I don't think. I mean, it could, it very much could. I just, I'm like ready to take my time. I'm gonna like jam out. I'm trying to get really used to talking. They were like so impressed in there. They were like, you're talking so good. Can you say seashore? And I was like, seashore? And they were like, see, perfect. You're already talking great. Like the lisp is not even like a lisp. You know what I mean? I'm just so excited. The Lord is just like blessing me, okay? All glory and thanks to God. All glory, honor, and thanks to God. Because last year I actually had a consultation a year and a half ago. And because like my finances just weren't there, they weren't right. Like, other things were just taking precedence. I literally had to wait an entire year before I was able to come back here. And like, God is just, he's just delivering. And one thing about me is I'm a brag about God. I'm a brag about my God because he just, ever, he just doesn't miss. He just doesn't miss like ever. And it's just like coming so full circle to me. And I'm just so incredibly blessed. So if there are things in your life that you are praying on, keep praying on it and be specific because the Lord, he hears you. He hears you. He sees you keep going. Cause I, I'm very much living proof of that. I'm very much living proof of that. This man is just coming through for me. Like one after the other. I'm just so excited to see how 2023 is going to be. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Let me go. Let me go. Cause I'm like literally cheesing. Like how I was cheesing when I put up my Christmas tree. I was so hyped about my Christmas tree. I'm so hyped about the Christmas tree has been up for seven days and I'm just like, oh. Yes, but yeah, all right, let me go ahead, put my Starbucks order in, get to the school, and I'll talk to you guys then. Look who it is. <laughs> it's a girl. <laughs> what, what, what do you say on my videos? Oh, hello, Miss Dotry's YouTube video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh my goodness, all right. We, she is, you'll see her. We're taking my kids down to lunch, but then we're gonna have lunch together in my classroom, so. Yeah. How are we, Izzy girl? How is high school? We're like twins with our hair and a Nike socks. Yeah. Okay, get into it. Really my twin. Um, okay, so high school's good. What you got going on this weekend? Uh, party. My girl out here partying. People like people It's like Christmas. Yeah. It's like Christmas. Let's see who's in here. <laughs> Mr. G's coming. Mr. G's coming. <laughs> Izzy girl. Miss you. What's going on? She said, let me go see yeah. Mr. G. What's going on? You're just here chilling? Yeah. You want to work here? No. We need you here. No. <laughs> I said, can we, we have them back? Jesus right now. Can we have them back? Can we have her back? Getting in trouble? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Nothing changed. Hi. I just wanted to bring her here to see you. She's like, can I see Miss Hoffler? <laughs> Reunion. Reunion. What's wrong? Come here. What's the matter? Go ahead. Go ahead and tell him what's wrong. Go ahead. She is not that nice no more. Oh God, she be mean. She be very mean. I know he's not. Look at me up yeah. there. Yeah, she's very mean. Why they all down there and twins? So. You can come if you want to. What? You can come over there if you want to. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, you're weird. You're weird. <laughs> Who be saying that's me? I'm talking because I got lunch detention. Whose fault is that? No, you quit. How is that my fault? No, because what you just said, you paused and then kept walking. <laughs> it was your face. Because I said, like, I was saying, like, what do you mean? Why would I come over here? Okay. I knew I had detention. Well, I just got here, though. Mm, but the way you just said and then Ooh. made that face. Okay, anyway. Somebody was blaming your teeth, right? I had to get my Invisalign. Period. Yeah, Miss Ashu girl getting straight teeth. Come on, Miss. <laughs> Is he cool? Take it home and get a sign. If you bring it back to me on Monday or Tuesday, I can put you in the video. My brush not coffee. I don't like that. Oh well, I want my candy. Oh oh. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Go ahead, go go. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> she's like, she's like, I come bearing gifts, and she's like, I bought this for you. Yeah. I was trying to find a bigger pack. I'm and glad I you didn't though. Miss Dutcher girl trying to get skinny. Cause I've been putting on weight. Period. No, not 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 the good weight. No. My easy girl, she just looks so grown. Look at her. Everybody was like, is that your daughter? Y'all look like I'm her niece. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sh I could be cool, Auntie. I said. Okay. Oh, Miss not my knees. Oh my knees. Do you want to plug your phone back in? You charging? Yeah. First of all, this haircut that you have, fire. Ten out of ten. Thank you. Thank you. Arm in arm. <laughs> Izzy Guru. Everybody keeps saying that she looks that we look alike. That she's my my sister or my niece. We're going with that niece. No, sister. Sister. Oh, sister. Hey, hey y'all. <laughs> it's time. <laughs> it's time. I don't want my baby to leave. <laughs> I don't want her to leave. I don't want to leave. Y'all say bye to my Izzy girl. Bye, man. Don't treat YouTube video. <laughs> <laughs> um, you gotta come back and visit me. All right, y'all text me. You get in. I will. You prom You promise? I promise. Y'all heard her say it. Now she don't. Y'all have every. Y'all have all authority to grind this girl up in the comment section. No, if she don't, don't text do that, y'all. Don't do that. I'm gonna text her. Look at my skin. It's giving. <laughs> Glowing. <laughs> Golden. <laughs> it's melanin. We love it. All right. Bye. We are going to a full staff meeting. You guys want to say hi to the vlog? Hi. Hey. Say hey, hey Miss Holden. No, come back. There she. Oh, all right. Anyway, we're going to a team meeting, and then we're done for the day. I'm ready to go. Ready to go. Is it my work, mom? Glitter. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. Oh, hey. Say hi to the vlog. Hi. Say hi to the vlog, Mr. <laughs> so, so we made it. Um, I just came back to my classroom really quick because I need to close the windows because my students, instead of closing windows that they open, they'll just keep them open and it's like, no. And I know they'll be cold on Monday because it's time for their winter uniforms and they're like refusing to wear them and they're gonna turn the- Oh, this one doesn't like close at all? Hold on. Sorry, they're gonna turn the- that. 
air up hi come on in we're gonna turn the heat off what's going on okay sorry about that we are leaving because it is time today was long and i've only been there for like four hours but it's cool i am actually about to run home really quickly so i can grab some hair products i need to get my my jam and a comb maybe some clips and then i'm gonna head over to my co-worker's house so i can braid her hair we're probably gonna be there until like 10 o'clock tonight and that's okay it's currently four o'clock right now i need to figure out if i should like eat something now i brought a salad today and i didn't even eat it and i feel like i'm just gonna lose a lot of weight with these aligners in because i don't feel like like eating like having to take them out eat brush my teeth put them back in like it's just i feel like it's just going to be too much so i'm gonna have to like figure out how i'm gonna do this my lips are so dry oh my gosh like the lipstick is it's just not it's not giving and now i feel like chapped sorry what is around the perimeter of this lip gloss i don't like when there's like stuff around my lip gloss like around like the little the head of it i don't like that now my lips feel so much better oh my god okay Whew. i mean the look of it is like not that great right now because like now it's like bleeding all into the lip liner or the eyeshadow that i use as lip liner but that's okay don't be my business don't be my business anyway all right so i need to put i need to just go home all right going home is the first thing so i'm actually like starting to get more accustomed to the actual retainers but before i was in like a meeting and i don't know what it was but like my bottom my lower teeth were hurting so bad like it was it actually like made me borderline miserable and i took some advil and now i feel a lot better but like somebody was trying to get my attention i felt so bad this lady was trying to get my attention in our plc for our meeting and um she was talking to me and i was like so vaguely like i was aware that she was speaking to me but like i couldn't do anything and i was like i'm so sorry i can't hear you my mouth hurts and everybody was dying and i was like no i'm literally like in pain there's this tension and like my bottom teeth not even the top teeth and i feel like the top teeth are the ones that are actually jacked up not even the bottom but they're gonna do what they do let me just stop talking because i'm just like so grateful i'm in like such a grateful mood like i just Oh, God is just doing so many amazing things in my life. And it's just like, I just want to tell everybody about it. And it's just like, ah, okay. Okay, calm down, Rihanna. All right, I'm going to run home really quick. I think I might get another coffee. Yeah, yeah, let's get another coffee. Okay, bye. She's back. Bye. She's back. How are we? Good. Good. Why are you cut it up like this? Because I'm cold. Because you cold. What you got on? A t-shirt? Swear. Oh, that makes sound like my mom. My mom always be like, "It's not cold in the house, or it's, it's it's a little cold." But if you put on a sweatshirt, you'll be fine. Let's get into the hair. Let's get into the hair, okay? Yes. Ew. Before, before we'll do a before. All right, hold on. Do a little before. Okay, inches. Okay, inches. <laughs> <laughs> it did. It grew so much. Yeah, remember I just cut it too. I cut some of it. I know, and you was like, I regret it. I regret I it. It's like, girl, ain't nobody told you. because I was hungry and then I went to bed. Y'all, I don't know if any of you guys have had Invisalign before, but my mouth hurts, okay? My bottom teeth, they hurt the worst. It's really, really painful, but I just made myself some breakfast because I want to eat 
something because I'm a little bit hungry um, and I'm splurging a little bit because I don't really know when the next time I'm gonna eat today is because my mouth actually hurts and just the hassle of having to like take these out and clean them every single time you eat like it's just it's not sitting around my spirit. I'm feeling really good today. I was up this morning. I was, I'm trying to finish a meal prep video. I need to finish the voiceover, but of course my computer died. So what I think I'm gonna do is allow my computer to charge just a little bit longer. I'm going to finish the voiceover. I'm staying in the house today. I might go to the gym. I probably will go to the gym in a little bit, honestly, because I feel like I could. But in terms of like running errands and stuff, it's not happening. I want to clean my bathroom. Oh my gosh, I need to clean my bathroom. And I want to straighten up my bedroom. I just have laundry that like has just been piling up like I've been sharing my bed with the laundry and I'm like quite literally sick of that so I want to do that today and then I also want to try and get this meal prep up once I get the voiceover done I just need to film an intro for it and then we'll be good to go essentially I already have a thumbnail prepared ready to go so that's good but yeah we're just gonna be taking it easy today because this week was long for me and I actually slept in a little bit today which was so nice I slept in until 5 30 but I just wanted to be honest because my mouth like it hurts and I think they told me that the trays are laser cut so if there's any like part of the tray that like is uncomfortable it feels sharp where it's like rubbing up against something wrong you can take like a nail file obviously a clean one but a file and file it down and I think I might have to because right underneath my tongue like on this bottom here I feel like my my teeth have already shifted. That's, I think that's what it is. My teeth are already shifting. It's crazy. Cause like the moment I take them out, like my bite is off too. Like everything is like, it's already working, which is crazy. When they told me, they were like, you can experience noticeable changes very quickly or you could see slow progress. But I think because my teeth were so jacked, <laughs> like in terms of not only this one here, but like my teeth are also shifted and they form a V. Like when you usually see, how do you, what do you call them? Like little models. Like remember when like the orthodontist, not the orthodontist, when like the, the dental hygienist used to come to school and like show you how to like brush your teeth and have like that little round like mouth or like little mouth that open and close and like your teeth were like used. Well, mine on the top are a V and so are mine on the bottom. Like it doesn't, it's not like a, it's more v-shaped and not u-shaped and so like there's gonna be a lot of movement they said so i'm gonna go ahead take these retainers or i'm gonna take them out and um i'm gonna eat i don't like not having them in now because the things on my teeth are like annoying and it feels so weird i was brushing my teeth this morning and i was like this feels wrong okay it feels like little like spikes on your mouth or on your teeth but they feel clean like after you brush them but like they still feel like there's something on it like i just want to like scratch them off but they said that they'll wear down a little bit and they won't be as like sharp and pointy and as noticeable so but anyway we made some protein pancakes and i'm splurging like i said because i'm probably not gonna eat until like tonight i added protein powder into the pancake mix that way you know i could feel a little bit better about having peanut butter and chocolate chips and the amount of peanut butter and chocolate chips that i put on here but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and have my breakfast i'm watching criminal minds right now too because this is just a show that i could just always watch from start to finish spencer reed him. But yes, I'm watching a little bit of Criminal Minds. I need to get in my word today too. I think I kind of want to go back and like revisit the stuff that we were talking about in Faith Chat on Thursday because it was just a message and I thought it would, we did a really great job of like dissecting John chapter 8. So. but also I've been productive on like an administrative end because I've got to answer some comments. I got to get some schoolwork done. I finished a video, so I'm feeling pretty good. But I ordered some groceries and I guess I can do a mini grocery haul for you guys. I really thought about going to the grocery store today, but I just like didn't have it within me. It was snow, not snowing. It was raining all day and I was like, no, we're staying in this house. I also didn't go to the gym today, but that's okay too because I'm gonna go in the morning. It's completely fine. But I need to film a meal prep tomorrow, so I decided to just like 
get the groceries today and make sure that it's in the house because one of the recipes that I'm making this week is a white chicken chili, I think it is. It requires you to cook it in the crock pot for a couple of hours. So I was like, I might as well just like put it, like do that first thing in the morning. And then like, by the time I get home from church, it'll already be done. So I can like, you know, just like package it away for the week. So to start off, I got the Califia Farms cold brew, the blonde rose coffee. This one is my favorite one. I think I like this one more than the stock coffees. I got two cans of Great Northern Beans, or just like white beans, I guess. I picked up the Owen 32 grams of plant protein shakes are in the flavor chocolate. I got these ones because I feel like now that I have my Invisalign, I'm really, like I said, I have to figure out what I'm gonna do because I know I'm gonna slack in one area. Area. Like I'll eat, I'll be able to eat clean, but I feel like I won't be getting my protein in for the day because like I don't want to keep taking these like aligners out. So I really need to like figure out how I'm gonna do that. So y'all just pray for me. I'm gonna figure it out. But I decided that I want to start making sure that I get my protein in like first thing in the morning. So I'm obviously gonna do a protein shake after the gym first thing. But then I think I'll do a protein coffee, and that way I can get some more protein in my diet because I just really want to make sure that I'm like hitting my protein bowl. That is like my major thing. I get everything else in, but not protein. Yeah. So I got these ones. These are the elite ones. I was gonna say, why is it 32 grams? Usually they're 20. Usually they're 20 grams, but these are the elite ones. It's 100% plant-based, zero net carbs. They are gluten-free, completely vegan, no dairy, soy, peanuts, tree nuts, all of that stuff. So you can get your hands on these. I really do like Owen. You guys know I swear by Owen protein. I love it. It doesn't give me any stomach issues, nothing. I just 10 out of 10, great. And they're not like chalky and gross. Okay, the next thing I got was some cumin and a little can of chopped green chilies. And then the grilled vegetable pesto that I absolutely love. I don't know if you can see it. It's backwards, obviously, sorry. But it's the Filippo Berrio grilled vegetable pesto. Love this stuff. Next, I have some chicken culinary stock. No sodium chicken stock, that's literally all it is. These are my favorite tortilla chips. These are the Hint of Lime Tostitos chips. I love these and I'm gonna be having these with my chicken chili. I'm really excited for the chicken chili too because I've never had like the white version of chili. I love regular chili, so I'm really excited to see how that goes. I also ordered two bags of the Quest tortilla style protein chips. I got the chili lime flavor and the nacho cheese flavor. They've got like a cool texture. Like they're like thinner than chips, but the taste is like giving Doritos. It's good. I got a bunch of cilantro, a yellow onion, one jalapeno, two limes, and two avocados. Of course, of course, of course, of course, we had to pick up some of the Power Crunch bars. And then I got some spring mix the spinach kind i have yet to clean my bathroom yet because i needed some supplies so i got this scrubbing bubbles bathroom grind fighter as well as the mr clean multi-surface cleaner it's in the febreze scent meadows and rain i think this is the one that my coworker had at her house yesterday and it smelled so good and i was like what does that smell yeah I think that's it. it smells really good okay and then i got some drano max gel and i got some toilet toilet wand refills. The last two things that I got are chicken breasts. This is a really, really big one. And then also a bag of frozen corn. So that is literally the whole grocery haul. It's something very, very simple. Literally everything that you saw today is going for like one dish. It's crazy, but it's fine.
tell you how accomplished I feel because it is Sunday and I have consistently vlogged every single day this week, like picked up the camera, whether it was for five minutes, whether it was for a couple hours, but I'm feeling really good about it. So it's Sunday and it's currently eight, 8.25 a.m. I've been up since seven o'clock this morning. Actually, I've been up since before then, but I got out of the bed at seven and I've just been like up and at them. Also, check out the gym fit because we're about to go to the gym. This is a new top from Gymshark. I really like it a lot. Maybe I should move back. Okay, this is a top. This is a new top. And then these are my regular like, I already have like seven pairs of these gray leggings from them. I love them. Um, anyway. Cute gym fit. Okay, so today I'm going to the gym and then when I come back, I'm going to film an intro for my meal prep video, post the meal prep video today because it's been like two months that I haven't posted any meal prep content. So I am going to film that and then I'm going to actually start meal prepping for this week and then I'm gonna start editing this video. I am going to watch the live stream of my church service today. I'm not going to go in and I'm like guilty of this. Like I know that I should make more of an effort to go every week, but like I feel like I'm gonna be cutting it really, really close right now. So I'm still logging into the church. I'm still gonna give my offering. I'm just going to watch it here from the comfort of my own home, but I need to like in the up and coming year, I wanna make it a priority to make sure that I get to church like physically in the building if I'm able to because I'm able to today I'm just not feeling it I don't know why I just there's just this part of me that just can't put on real clothes and go so I'm just going to watch the live stream but the live stream starts at 11 so I'm gonna make sure that I'm back in enough time and like just set aside the two hours you know that church usually takes and I'm gonna watch service there so yeah so don't judge me okay I'm a work in progress a hundred percent a work in progress but we're gonna get we're gonna get better but yeah so that's kind of what we're doing right now I want to fill up my hydro jug I also need to clean my kitchen I mean not that it's necessarily dirty I just need to like wash these little couple of dishes from last night where I made the cookies the cookies were so good too super Super, super good. I guess I should also at this time take my vitamins and I don't have to take my aligners out because I'm just drinking them with water. Oh, let me move the camera closer. Anyway, so I still get the question of if I'm using the Ray vitamins still. I'm actually finishing up. I think I want to like try a couple of other brands before like I stay, you know, really committed to them. I really do love their their products though. I still have a really hard time swallowing pills. And you, y'all know this. I need to reduce points so I don't like the way it's sitting on my head. I take the Alani New Fat Burner Capsules. They're supposed to boost metabolism, promote fat loss and energy and focus. I just started taking them, so we'll see down the line how they work out for me. Literally so close to being done with these Ray vitamins. Not me dropping one and we're still gonna do, we're still gonna use it cause it was dry, five second roll. This one is the Vegan Collagen Boost. I think I'm gonna stick with the Vaginal Balance though. I love these. My girl, she likes them. The next one I'm taking is the multivitamin and then I'm also going to take a pre and probiotic. Oh, I have a wellness shot. Oh, these are expired. Okay, I need to put that on a list of things that I need to get this week. I need to get some new wellness shots or digestive shots because I'm out. The ones that I had were completely um, expired by like a week. So I kind of fell off on taking them because they're gross. But anyway, I just want to fill up my hydro jug. Also, we did skincare this morning. So I'm glistening like a glazed donut. I'm gonna just fill this up when I get to the gym because I'm not about to sit here and wait for this whole entire water jug or brother to fill up anyway y'all wait pause i gotta talk about this movie i watched yesterday so yesterday i watched this movie called shutter island with leonardo dicaprio right i'm not gonna like tell y'all everything that happened because i want you guys to go watch the movie but i really wanted to watch this movie for the longest time ever since they put it on netflix and i never really brought myself to be able to watch it until yesterday morning i was like okay let's go ahead and watch this movie like in between me doing little like tests around the house so i put the movie on and i ended up falling asleep taking a two hour nap which was completely fine because i woke up early anyway it was cool but then i was like okay as i'm finished Finishing editing this meal prep video, I really, really want to watch something. So I put this movie on and like I actually watched the entire movie yesterday and the ending really took me out. Like it literally, it really honestly, truly made me so like, it was like a jaw dropping moment. And I love psychological thrillers. Like I love those movies. I don't know what it is, but like I used to be like a horror film girl, right? But now that I'm walking with Christ heavier, like I was always walking with Christ, don't get me wrong. But I was so into the horror movies, so into the documentaries. And like, let me tell you how crazy it's been. So I've really been like praying for discernment, right? And like God has really been delivering, but it's, show, it's showing up in different ways than I thought it would. Like I thought discernment would be like, he would whisper in my ear like, hey, don't do that. Don't eat that. Don't talk to that person or like whatever, right? And like when the Jeffrey Dahmer documentary with Evan Peters came out, 
Evan Peters, I think that's his name. I wanted to watch it so bad. And he was like, don't watch it, don't watch it. And I was seeing like all over TikTok how like a lot of Christians were saying that he was dealing with the demonic presence that was making him do all these things. And they felt this like level of unease and discomfort. And I knew like at the stage that I was in, in my faith walk, like, don't get me wrong. I grew up in the church. I've always known Jesus. I've always loved Jesus. I've always been a believer. But like when I was growing up, I always had one foot in the world, one foot in the word of God. And like, I, I wanted to make sure that I was honoring him and being intentional. And that is the word that I'm taking into 2023, intentional, okay? Being intentional about everything in my life, especially my relationship with God. But anyway, I used to be like such a scary movie kind of girl, like me and my uncle and my cousins, we would always watch scary movies. And like now I just feel like I can't watch them anymore because I always knew that that stuff was like real. Don't get me wrong. I've never experienced like a possessed person or anything like that, but that stuff is really real. And I feel like a lot of people indulge in those things and they delve and like those practices because they don't really think that it's real but like when you know when you are dealing with the spiritual realm you know how real that stuff is and I was like okay I had to take a little break from that but I was always into psychological thrillers and like now those are like really really my things because it's like not paranormal activity things it's just more like a play on your mind but like I'm sure like some of them I don't know where I was going with that anyway I've been watching these psychological thrillers and I've been absolutely loving them lately and I think it's a 10 out of 10 movie if you watch Shutter Island with Leonardo DiCaprio he definitely should have won an Oscar an Emmy I think it was an Oscar. He definitely should have won an Oscar for the movie. He was so good. Like he was so convincing, so believable. And honestly, 10 out of 10 actor, okay? 10 out of 10 actor. I watched that movie yesterday. I can't wait to watch another one tonight. The goal is to, I had to do laundry today too. So I have to fold laundry and put a couple loads of laundry in. So the goal is to, after the gym today, come home, start my meal prep, film an intro for my meal prep video, and then watch church. And then really just be like done with everything that like needs to get done. I need to look at my lesson plans for the week. But other than that, like that's really it. That's all I'm doing today. Today. I cleaned my bathroom yesterday. She's good to go. I did a couple rounds of Drano and it seems to be okay right now. So that's good. Sorry, now my phone's telling me that it was running out of storage immediately. No, that's because I needed to clear out the stuff from my previous videos that I didn't. So I had to do that real quick. But anyways, let's see if I can choke down these pills. Jesus. They just like don't go down all the way. Like you have to really drink lots of water. I think this is actually going pretty well. We did okay. That only took me like maybe two and a half minutes. Usually I'm here for 10. Okay, I'm not gonna record in the gym today cause I kinda just wanna get in and out. I am gonna get more like workout content to you guys because I know that that has been a request. And that's also gonna be like a challenge for myself because I feel like I've gotten so comfortable with like vlogging and like doing meal preps. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I have literally, it's taken me so long to get this meal prep video out because I hate doing voiceovers. <laughs> I absolutely hate doing voiceovers and like it just takes me that's what takes me the longest like the cooking part like I can cut and edit those videos like so quickly I the the meal prep video that's gonna go up today has literally been done it has been edited for like three weeks I just didn't want to do the voiceover and it took me forever to do the voiceover yesterday like I just I dread it but I think if I just do it when it's like fresh because like trying to like go back and watch all the footage and then narrate through what I was doing when I cooked the meal like a month ago it's like Okay, but I'm really comfortable with like meal prep videos, what I eat a day videos, vlogging, but I really do want to get like more comfortable like filming in the gym. And it's not, I don't have like the best intentions. It's like, I want to be able to film that content, but there's always so many people there. And like, people are always staring. The workout that I did the other day, these pills are sitting right here. I feel like they want to come back up. That's so, ugh. Maybe if I like eat something. I'm eating a cookie before the gym, that's fine. Anyway, the lower, the lower, aligners they hurt the worst oh right people were looking at me in the gym crazy when i was filming and i was like i'm not getting any of you guys in it like i like you could strategically see like how i was placing the camera i'm like but i just need to get like more comfortable i just need to like forget that they're looking because let, let them look let them look also these cookies from trade these cookies are from trader joe's they're the pumpkin chocolate chunk oatmeal cookies fire instead of making the really small cookies i just made like eight big cookies it's also so cold in my house and i swore i turned the heat on last night and like i don't know why it feels like it's hold on i just turned the heat on high because like what is this this is not a game it's too cool for this all right i'm gonna finish my cookie and then i'll talk to you guys when i'm back from the gym <laughs> tell you it took me like three hours to watch that sermon i decided to watch cuffed to cap 
which is the one that they just released today. It's like week 13 or week 12 of the Cuff 2 series that Transformation Church is doing. Not only did I get what I needed, but I know that like over the next couple of days, Lord is really gonna be dealing with me because I am praying on some things and I'm believing to have crazier faith. Last year, I remember last year I had a birthday vlog and I was literally, I was getting Starbucks and I remember pulling over in the parking lot to like try my Starbucks or whatever. But I remember saying that I was believing in crazier faith that God was going to like do certain things in my life that he was going to show up and show out in 2022. And God has absolutely 100% done that, okay? I, <laughs> if you need, if you need living proof that God will do what he says and more, please just look at my life. Like I went back and looked at the video from last year, from last year's birthday. I remember when I went out to dinner with my friends and I had to keep checking my bank account because I wasn't sure if I was gonna have enough money to afford dinner. And this year for my birthday, I went to LA and I had more fun and I had quality people around me and I was able to do so much more. And I was also able to spend that time with him. Like my birthday, I was so intentional about keeping God there with me. Like this year I watched the sunset and I was doing Bible studies and just looking and just in awe of how wonderful and amazing God really is. So if you needed proof, I'm proof. You guys can go back and watch that video. It's crazy. I was like believing in crazier faith and I had no idea that the Lord was going to show up in the ways that he did. Now there were certain things that I prayed for in crazier faith that didn't happen, but that doesn't mean that they're not coming, right? Like I'm not gonna put a cap on God. I'm not gonna put a limit on him because when I'm ready, he will give them to me. But this brings me to a specific scripture that Pastor Todd mentioned today. And I wanted to read it to you guys because I recognize that I didn't do an actual Bible study in this video. I just, for whatever reason, didn't record it. And this video is also very long. Like I'm already editing this weekly vlog and I'm already at like three hours worth of content. So Lord, please help me get it down to an hour. But anyways, I wanted to share it with you guys. I'm reading from the Amplified version because I feel like it's one of the easiest versions to read. It's just whatever, you, whatever translation you are able to comprehend, go for it. I love the Amplified version though. It comes from Numbers chapter 23 verse 19 and that's really about to like it's really about to speak directly to me okay again so it reads whew, like to read it for myself this time like when i heard it i literally was editing a meal prep that i finally got out i literally had to stop and i was like wait what and i went back it says god is not a man that he should lie nor a son of man that he should repent has he said this the part this the part right here has he said and will he not do it? Or has he spoken and will he not make it good and fulfill it? It's that last part for me where it says, has he said, so has he spoken and it didn't happen? Has he said it and not really done it? Like he's never spoken something and never delivered. He has delivered so much and more like things that I didn't even know I needed. Like I will pray for certain things and the Holy Spirit really does have to translate on my behalf. Like, Lord, she says she wants this, but really she needs X, Y, and Z. And that is why I'm so grateful for the Holy Spirit because he's able to translate on my behalf. Because like sometimes I think, I think that I need one thing, but really it's like I need another thing, but I don't know how to ask for it because I didn't even recognize that that thing was the thing that I needed. I hope you guys are staying with me here. It's it's crazy. God is not going to give you something that you want when you want it. He's going to give you what you need when you need it. And so if he spoke as if he spoke a promise over you, he gave you a promise, right? And you haven't seen it yet. You need to continue to be faithful. You need to continue to believe because he's not a man. He does not lie. People lie. People be capping, but he does not lie. So if he said it, it will be done. Now he might be grooming you. Like it, it's not immediate. Like some, he's not going to just, you know, because you snap your fingers, he's just going to give it to you. That's not how he works. He might've said that is your kingdom spouse, but you're not getting him right now because there are still some things in you that you need to deal with because if I give them to you right now, you're gonna ruin the promise. We are praying entirely too hard for the kingdom spouses. We are praying entirely too hard for things in our lives to come to pass, for him to give it to us in a premature time. So I just wanted to leave you guys with that because the way it's going to get my life 
together. I just feel very empowered right now. I want to share this too because it has been really on my heart and on my mind to start tithing to the church and I felt weird about tithing because like I always gave offering but I was never giving like specific tithes and it was because I didn't really know too much about it. Like I grew up in the church but I never really understood the significance of it. Around the time I was like really praying about it right I didn't know what church I should give to because like I go to a church out here in Philly and then I also you know have my church back at home but I've also really been watching Transformation Church and I think Transformation Church has been the church that really has really helped like cultivate my walk with God and so I didn't really know where I needed to tithe at however they're doing a crazier faith offering or tithe whatever you want to call it and I really 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 want to give like my heart is so in it like I'm not giving out of obligation I'm giving because I want to give to God the question of that was you know how much should I tithe and so I'm just praying on that this week I'm also going to fill out my crazier faith card because I didn't do a crazier faith card last year but I'm gonna do one this year because there are some things that I'm really trying to see you know come into my life I want to give but also remembering that it's not just about the money like you can give money but you also need to give your time and your attention to God and really walk in his example and so it's like making those sacrifices as well so I'm really going to be in prayer this week because like this up and coming week because I think that like next weekend is when the like tithe closes or like the offering closes or whatever and i truly truly and i'm like do i give this amount do i give a hundred dollars do i give hundreds of dollars do i give thousands of dollars like what do i do because at the end of the day like i am blessed because god gave me these things if it was not for him i would not have any of it and so really it's me giving back to god and I just want to make sure that I plant this seed and I plant it well because I don't want God to think that he's like worth a number because if there's if he's worth a number I don't have it I can't afford him essentially I can't afford him Whew. so anyways all right yeah I hope you guys stay encouraged I, and if any of you guys are doing it doing this as well you guys are believing in crazy faith that God is going to be doing some big things in your life in 2023 or you guys are also you know praying about tithing and giving offerings and things like that I'm going to keep you all prayed up I keep you guys prayed up in general but like I really am keeping you guys prayed up on that because like I know how it feels because I'm feeling it right now I feel like very overwhelmed like I don't know what I should give I feel like I'm being disrespectful if I only give like ten dollars but if that's all you have then that's what you get and it's just like I don't want to be stingy I don't want to do all those things so it's just like I'm gonna pray about it and ask that the Holy Spirit would just the place it on my heart the number that I should give now I'm getting ready to film another meal prep oh my god I'm like feel like I'm about to I'm like meal prepped out today even though I didn't like film meal prep today I just like finished it and posted it but I'm about to film my meal prep for it this week it's really gonna be easy I'm not even gonna complain about it because one is going in the oven the other one is cooking in the crock pot and I'm actually really really hungry but I'm gonna wait for my meal to get finished in the crock pot I need to do laundry I need to fold laundry I just don't like going down into the basement anybody else have a problem I don't like to go down in the basement there's nothing wrong with it I just don't like going down there I mean there's like little spiders and spiders and stuff in the corners I don't like that I don't like it all right I just wanted to share that because I just feel like I would be doing y'all a great to service if I didn't share that verse with you guys I'm gonna be meditating on this verse for like ever and like, now that I know what these verses are like we're not gonna get I'll talk to you guys later I'm not about to get into this I just sometimes you just don't even be knowing the gems that the Bible has in it like, sometimes you just need help finding them and these sermons sermons and you know research on your own they they really really help and I'm just so glad that I came across that because it's just so exciting. Okay, all right. I'm gonna go meal prep. I'll be back. Mm -hmm.